Hello guys, Zuldin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I hope y'all are having an awesome day. Y'all see how glitchy the rain is? Look, it stops raining outside too when it stops raining inside. It's not supposed to be raining in my house, but that's just a thing. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I sure am. Thank y'all so much for all the support on the Ark series, guys. You know, when I first started doing this season and was doing the daily uh, upload episodes, I really didn't see the views like right away. Like most of the time, the views would just kind of level out at the at the end of the day, just kind of like the views would for the the previous episodes. But now that people are starting to catch up with the series, man, is it ever crazy! So I I just want to say thanks again, guys, for all the support. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So guys. I've been in this white hide for a long time. You guys have been telling me, Z, get some better armor, get some better armor. I plan on it. I want to do it today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, I'm going to get some flack. And I think I've come up with some color ideas that I want to try out too. I'm not going to spoil any of it. I'm just going to try it out. First things first though, we need to get some flak armor. And I have been putting a little bit of metal to the side. I don't know how much I'm going to need, uh, but I'm pretty sure that I'll have enough. Another thing is I think I might go for a miner's helmet if we have a good miner's helmet. I think the only piece of flak helmet that we have is only a ramshackle. So I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to look at the difference. But I think the miner's helmet will be cool. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm on a packy in my house right now. And you might be saying, why? You know, what? what's the packy doing in your house? Well, I'll show you. Um, so I, I played around with furniture ideas for a long time, you guys. I tried a bunch of stuff. I tried in creative. And then, uh, actually, if, if, if you want to see... So I've been have I've, I've been collecting a lot of resources so that I can try stuff because I really thought it would be a little bit more extensive than it was and it hasn't been but Timlan is kind of loaded up with stuff right now you'll see he has only a few stacks of wood um, but plenty of materials that I've been playing with some leftovers from the other day uh, when I actually built the house and also some that I just put together uh, here you'll see that I have a little bit of thatch going on and back here you'll see I have a full storage box of wood and a full storage box of stone uh, and this is not cons counting what I already had. I just didn't know which way I was going to go for it. So I put together a bunch of resources and I started playing around some stuff. I played around with the idea of trying uh, to make a table. And with foundations, I'll tell you kind of what happened. Let me go inside with the air conditioning so my temperature will level out right quick. Uh, but what I saw here is that you can't put a foundation on a foundation. Like it, it kind of wants to take the place of it. So I can't use that for a table. I tried using pillars but pillars stick up way too high i tried using catwalks on the walls and they're kind of like on top of where the door height would be so that doesn't work out as well uh, i tried demolishing foundations and doing a couple things with that and that didn't work as well so i kind of figured that i just can't make furniture nothing that aesthetic <laughs> nothing that i can aesthetically seat things in so i thought about it and i was like what's the smallest dino i could sit on <laughs> <laughs> those are packies so i went ahead and bring packies in here and i had to demolish some walls to get in here so i remade those but also brought in two cents and i added a couple beds so i got a double bed right here and i put two cents and look two cents is sleeping back <laughs> so two cents has a has a spot now which two cents is a very very strong cat to be held in captivity here but you never know maybe we'll change this up this could be um a, a deal from getting in and out of here i could just change this into um something else or just leave it open altogether. but um it's funny the air condition range is a little different than i thought it would be i thought it would be much larger i have to get all the way down near the air conditioner to where the uh the the, the air cools off and you would think like oh an air conditioning you know it's only supposed to be cold well this is supposed to level out the temperature from what uh from what i know so at any rate it could be better. Another thing that I was going to think about doing is putting a fabricator in here, but I'm not so sure. Like, I want to save some big stuff for the base. Like, I don't have enough room for storage either, like major storage, and I don't want to put a vault in here. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll save some of that for 
uh, base space. But I can put a little bit more storage in here and still keep it aesthetic. Uh, so I'll probably just put a couple, another couple shelves in here and kind of keep it organized because that shelving counter is full. I can also maybe do some tiered shelving with some boxes on top with some catwalks or something like that. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll play around with it. I want to keep this place kind of aesthetic. If I, if I feel the need to outgrow this or I feel like I'm outgrowing this, I should probably just move into a base. But I'm kind of waiting for the biomes to change for me to really pick my spot. Uh, so... What I want to do today, I'm going to grab some of this metal that I have. I've been burning metal like all day and uh, I used some already for y'all probably noticed the industrial grill downstairs. But I have 91 metal right now ready to go and I'm not sure what I'm going to need yet. The industrial grill, guys, I had to make. I just, I thought about doing it in an episode, but basically it was just collecting some resources and putting it together. And I'd been struggling with food and the time that it took me to really just put together the resources to make this thing was about the same amount of time that it was going to take me to cook enough meat <laughs> to, to get it ready. So I have been cooking a lot and you can see that... Um, this is, this is just only a portion of what needs to go in the refrigerator. A lot of it is going to be eggs. I've also uh, put the uh, the preserving bin on this side, and I've been doing a little bit of jerky creation. Nothing major right now, but I have been creating jerky in the hopes that uh, some, of the, some of the kibble that I'm going to need in the future, I could just do on my own until the kibble form is complete and we have plenty of eggs there and stuff. So all in all, it's pretty good. So anyway, let's go see what we're going to need for... All of this flak armor. It should. I know Tiny just made some. I saw. I saw him do a video of it, and uh, I was like, "Yeah, I think it's time." Because the 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 leather's been pretty fun. You know, it has been like just the the thought of me being able to be so fragile. I think I've died enough this season. <laughs> it's time to be able to stand toe to toe with most of the stuff. Um, and it's still it's still a lot of fun to be be that vulnerable. But I can always just switch down to it. I, I need a, myself a good uh, set of armor. So. Uh, I don't think that the uh, the blueprints are still in here. Let's see. And you might hear some background noise. The neighbor has a really loud card. I apologize if you guys hear it. Uh, so let's see here. Let's take a look. It looks as though there is... Where's the flak blueprints, huh? I do not see the flak armor blueprints. Um... Oh, they're in the smithy, that's why. Maybe? No? Okay, where are the blueprints? Hey, buddy. What's up, man? Thank you for the help, man. Yeah, you're only level 70, so you probably need a little bit of help, you right? You're 77? What you been doing at level 77? I, I, I don't know, man. Jesus I just... Christ. You played this game too much, I think. I, I, I'd say our Steam profiles probably say differently comparatively. Ah, maybe. well, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I got, I'm dumping 153 metal in here. Oh, you All got right. some in here, too. Oh, I, did, yep. I don't have, uh, we don't have feet and chest. Yeah, and I guess I'll just have to make that for you in the regular uh, Oh, that would blueprint. be awesome, dude, because I don't want to spend the Ingram points. Yeah, there's no reason to. If someone's got stuff like that, you know, it's not really a requirement for anything else. Right. Yeah, and then I, d I haven't learned kite either, because I wanted to oh, learn yeah. all the scuba gear and stuff when that becomes a thing. And them legs are so baller. Yes. That was the first drop I got on this server. Really? The first yellow drop I ever picked up with these these journeyman legs, man. They are so expensive at 120 metal ingots, man. That is. Yeah. 
that, that's a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm wearing a refrigerator on my legs. Dude, this rocks. All right. Oh, we're getting rid of the white leather, guys. I mean, I got some white dye if you want to dye your flak white. I don't know if the the flak will dye white. I don't know white. if it will. It will probably just look silver. But yeah. I want to try it because whatever the... Uh, oh, that's the wrong thing. Whatever the... Uh, no, it's not. That's primitive flak boots. Whatever the color is, I'm going to have to mix it up with something else. I like your, your green. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. You got the dyes in here if you want to okay. go ahead and grab some. Let's see. Let's try white. Uh, I don't think I'm doing lime green this season. Let's see oh, what happens that's good. when I dye white. White very... White does not change it a whole lot, man. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, you're gonna have to, I'm going to have to do it on some other seams. So, like, if I put white on the chest piece for instance and our color like region region five that turns that white that's a really good shade of white but everything else i'm gonna have to change so hmm. i'm gonna have to play around with colors a little bit before i do it but thank you so much for the armor and stuff dude your house is looking amazing yeah thank you man you know your your nose kind of sticks through that flak uh flak helmet a little bit uh Oh, I do. I do. The tip of my nose is sticking little, out. Little tip. That's Dude, kind of crazy. And I also got to say, man, you, you're not looking so good. You're, you're looking a little green around the eyes. Did you paint me? <laughs> Erase me right now, right this minute. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> so silly, man. I'm going to have to build myself a, a protection uh, receptacle so you guys can't prank me. Well, I prank you while somewhere. you're on mine. You ain't got a lot. I know, like you me. just come attack me with a paintbrush. You set up an, an oven too, huh? I Industrial did, yeah. Grill. I did today, dude. This is the best thing ever. I had and to set up AC as well, man. It was, it was yeah. getting too hot in yeah, here. Yeah, I put an AC in mine as well too. The range is a little bit kind of lackluster on them, but other than that, they're they're pretty darn good. Yeah, I haven't really even paid attention to it. I, I never touched one last season, so I didn't know how good they actually are. Ah, uh, you lived on the beach last season, though, huh? I did, yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did, too. And when you start moving inland, things change a whole bunch, man. But, yep, they sure do. Well, cool, man. Thank you so much for the help, dog. All right, no problem, man. <laughs> All right, you guys, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do with my armor, and I've decided to try out a couple dyes. So last season, if y'all remember, I did like the green and orange look, and this season I want to do something a little bit different. The green and orange last season was inspired by uh, Night Viper from G.I. Joe, believe it or not. Long, old school stuff, okay? Well, I think I want to do Alley Viper, which was like an orange and blue look. So I've tried Brick and it's a little bit, this is made from tinto berries and norco berries, and it's a little bit too dark. If I go over the color scheme, you'll see it's almost like a rust color, which is a very cool color, but just not the color that I'm going for. Um, then, if I take that, and if I try to do cyan, I was thinking about blue as well, but Tiny already went with blue, and the blue is a little bit too dark, so the cyan seems to work out pretty well. And if you look at Night Viper, or Ali Viper's like suit, it's like blue accents and it looks around like this color or that I think it would be this color. So I like that. But what we really want is mostly orange. So I've got orange. So let's start with the chest piece. So if I take a look at Ali Viper, it looks like the majority of his outfit is orange. So this would probably be orange. And this would probably be orange. And I think that bottom piece, too, would be orange. Although I might have to change that up a little bit. Okay, so now if we move to cyan, we can go with that as blue. And, oh, did it, did it dye it? Dye item, okay. And I think that would probably look pretty good blue, too, right here. Let's do that instead. So the top, and uh, we can probably do the bottom portion as well. Yeah, that looks like mostly accent. So the ma the majority of the armor is that, that orange color, and that's what I like. And that is going to be the layout of the entire suit of armor. Now I just need to do it to the rest of the pieces. 
So I decided that it needed to be mostly cyan with just orange accents because the other way just didn't look right. And I think I like this way a lot better. So if you look around, except for like the light and the way it shines on my legs right now, it's a really, really cool color combination. Like I really like it. It's a little bit pastel, uh, but for the most part, it's it's cool. I don't think it's too overbearing. I wasn't sure about the orange at the bottom like on the butt plate <laughs> so to speak but everything else looks really really good i might try out some other colors later on like i think brick uh, a whole suit of the brick color would look cool too but i think i wanted to try the cyan instead and last but not least the pick and there's all of our stuff died guys oh you know what i did forget the boat too that looks really cool all right so we're geared up now. So there's the spear. There's the pick. There's the axe. There's the crossbow. And there's the bow. <laughs> really, really cool. I like this look. It's cool. It's unique. I bet you no one else is going to be in cyan <laughs> on the server. So yeah, guys, I love my colors. I hope you guys do too. So the only thing I need left to complete this awesome suit of armor, guys, is a long rifle. And I'm on my way to check to see what kind of situation we got as far as blueprints. I'm, I'm relatively sure that Slip told me that there was one that he used. Uh, I don't know what level it is, but I imagine it's pretty good. Because uh, he said it was expensive. Alright, let's see here. Long rifle... No, that's only a primitive. Was there another one? Yeah. That's a ramshackle, 121.7. That's not bad. Uh, is there any in the smith? Oh, there is. 129.5. 373 ingots! <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's like 129.5. Hold on. 129.5, wait, let's look at the stats one more time. 129.5 and 123. 123.6, 129.5. 123.6, 129.5. Oh, the durability is much higher. But man, for <laughs> like 373 ingots, this is, uh, like, there's six in here. Oh, there's a lot of metal to smelt. Um, how many is there in here? 171. We actually have enough for the other long rifle, which for 200 ingots, only for durability and a few points of damage. <laughs> I know. I think I know what I'm doing. All right. Let's get this blueprint out of here. Yeah, I'm not making that apprentice one. That's just silly sauce. I mean, it's a better rifle, but holy cow, guys, the difference. Like, 20 ingots. I, there might even be enough in here. I need to start smelting this. I might as well. Really and truly, this smeltery setup is a little weak. I know Menace and TDC set up a mobile forge with a Bronto. I think uh, an expansion of, of just this outside would probably be good. Or closer to the mountain, maybe like a, a pedestal, like a 3x3 pedestal uh, on um, like on a column with a ladder in to get to a bunch of it. That would probably be a good deal. Uh, that way we can set up like seven or eight of them and we would only have to, to port the ingots back and forth. All right, let's grab these and I'll just smelt these. A little bit and get them going. That's 14. How many more do I need? It's going to be close. Yeah, 185. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, 191. So, like, six left? <laughs> that shouldn't be bad at all. And I don't know if I have any cyan dye left. I don't think I do. I could probably do that cyan dye right quick. Uh, let's see. I think it was blue and yellow. Which I don't even know if I have probably don't have any on this guy too oh yeah we got it blue and yellow and we'll need spark powder I believe which I do have spark powder already uh, so yeah that should be enough let's see what's in here already a bunch of stuff I won't need um, blue 
no, that was yellow. This is blue. The spark powder. Oh, I need to light it first, I think. Where's the wood that was in here? Did I just throw it out or something? Oh, no, thatch. I see. All right, so we'll light it. We'll add the spark powder in. And that should do it with water, which... Uh-oh, I need water. Um, oh, perfect. All right, this ought to be enough just to grab a little cyan dye. There we go, and that should make up nicely because there's no charcoal and there's no um, there's no gunpowder in it. It shouldn't skew the colors up, so I should get cyan from this. There's my cyan, and I think I should have orange left at the house, but this will be good enough to get it started. Uh, let's see. So we should have enough ingots to do it as well. I'll grab that. Oh yeah, we got plenty of ingots. I'm gonna let these burn. I think next episode I'm gonna build something for metal in the uh, the mountains, guys. Get a little get a little bit going here. Yeah, 191. Because metal is gonna be something that we're gonna be able to get and use for the rest of eternity. You know. Yeah, ramshackle's fine with me for those stats. A little bit of durability, that's nothing. I would rather repair this thing over and over and over again than overspend by like 200 metal ingots for one rifle. All right. And that's gonna add nicely to my little uh, my little bow that uh, that Minas got me too. This this bow is really really good. All right, let's dye this puppy. How does it come out? Is it like the camo? All right, because it's already kind of orange on the hilt and stuff. Yeah, that's gonna look good. And the top of the stock as well. And what about the barrel? Yeah, yeah it already looks kind of orange. Oh, that's perfect, man. <laughs> that matches even without the orange dye. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to make some bullets for it and try it out. But I think that's going to be the end of the episode, you guys. I hope you all really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.